I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. We'll discuss previous test paper questions on planes in this particular playlist. Now, these are few very important questions. I'll take them one by one, which are all included in this playlist. This is probably the toughest question in that list. So I'd like you to really concentrate on the solution and understand different concepts. The question here is, Determine an equation of a plane that is perpendicular to the plane x plus 2y plus 4 equals to 0, contains origin, and has a normal that makes an angle of 30 degrees with the z-axis. So in this particular question, we are given three conditions. So you need to understand these conditions to answer the question. So first condition here is that it is perpendicular to the plane which has equation x plus 2y plus 4 equals to 0. It's perpendicular to this plane, right? Second, contains origin. So, contains a point which is O, which means 0, 0, 0. Okay. And the third one is that and has a normal that makes an angle of 30 degrees with z axis. That means the normal. So let's say normal will take n and we'll define this as a vector abc. Okay, so it says the normal that makes an angle of 30 degrees with this makes. Thirty degrees angle with z axis. Correct. So these are the three conditions given to us. There should be enough to find the equation. But how do we go about? Okay. So from the first condition, which says that perpendicular to this particular plane, that means uh, will that implies that the normal here will be the direction. So we know one of the direction vector. So we know direction vector. Of our plane, right? So of our plane that gives you one direction vector and that I'll write D1. This normal becomes the direction, right? So so that will be uh, one, two and zero. Right? So z component is missing. So this first perpendicular to plane, this plane has a normal of, this plane has a normal which is, which is 1, 2 and 0. Now being perpendicular means that this normal is parallel, right? It has this direction vector on the plane. That's what it is, right? Second. Second is that we have assumed the normal to be ABC. So if ABC is my normal, in that case, that gives me the condition that AX plus BY plus CZ plus D equals to 0. Now, we also are given that it contains this particular point O, right? So that means D should be 0, right? So if I substitute 0 here, I get D0, right? So since it contains 0, 0, 0, I will say my equation now becomes AX plus BY plus CZ equals to 0. Perfect. So, so till now, I think it's perfectly fine. How do I get an equation now? Okay. So that still remains a big question. The important thing to understand is to utilize this particular information that the normal ABC makes 30 degrees angle with the z-axis. Now that brings us to the concept of direction cosines. Now, since we are talking about z-axis, I'll not write the whole thing, or we can say cos of gamma should be equal to. So in our case, if we take this as our vector, 
uh, equation of the scalar equation of the plane in that case cos of gamma should be c over square root of a square plus b square plus c square correct correct now what we are trying to say here is that the normal makes 30 degrees angle with z axis that means this here we are talking about cos of 30 degrees correct that's what we mean right so cos of 30 degrees we can always look into our special triangle right it always helps so so you know and to x oh, sorry so sorry 2 and square root 3 right so I draw 30 60 in the same uh, figure so now here we have 30 degrees right there right so that is our 30 degrees so cos of 30 degrees is basically equal to square root 3 over 2 correct so that is the value of cos of 30 degrees so from here we get this relation now actually to simplify our problem what we do here is and that is very important to understand and the tip here is that consider unit vector so so when we say normal we we took this normal but we'll actually consider unit vector so we'll assume that this magnitude a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 1 so so what we are trying to say here is that the magnitude of this normal is 1 right we are only interested in the direction right we are only interested in the direction and therefore we'll assume that a square plus b square plus c square is 1 so what I'm trying to say here is that ABC for us is representing the normal vector along a unit normal vector. So we're talking about unit normal vector. Does it make sense to you? So this is the point which I want to emphasize on. This point can help us to further get the solution, right? So I hope you are getting the idea. So, so from here, we actually conclude that a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 1, right? And we also found, if I say this is 1, we could conclude that what is c equals? If denominator is 1, we are saying c is equal to square root 3 over 2 you get the idea right so since the the base here the denominator here is is 1 c is equal to square root 3 over 2 does it make sense correct so we get the value of c from here perfect I hope that point is absolutely clear right now second we said this is a unit vector that means uh, a square plus b square plus c square should be equal to 1 correct so we should get some other relation from here and that is we know what c square is so this implies that a square plus b square is equal to c is all this right so we'll say 1 minus square of this square root 3 over 2 whole square right so we can say that a square plus b square equals to 1 minus 3 over 4 or it is equals to 4 minus 3 which is 1 which is 1 over 4 right so you get a relation that a square plus b square is basically 1 over 4 we'll call this as our second equation is that clear now, how do I find A and B? Well, we have a direction also here, 1, 2, 0, and we also have a normal here. So, their dot product should be 0. So, that gives us another equation. Does it make sense, right? So, so what we are saying that 
d1 dot so this is the direction vector dot the unit vector normal should be zero right should be equal to what so we'll just do dot product of one two zero and abc right abc and that means a plus 2b equals to 0. Doesn't make sense. So c could be anything times 0, 0. a times 2b, when you add them up, it is equal to 0. So from here, from this, we get our value of a as equal to minus 2b, right? So I'm just trying to squeeze in the solution here, and I'm going to call this as my equation number 3. Is that clear? So I know a square plus b square is 1 over 4 and I know a is minus 2b. Now it is much simpler for me to find the solution, right? So I'm going to combine these two informations, right? So from here to there, these two informations. And I'll say, I'll substitute a value here, correct? So what I'm going to get here is minus 2b whole square plus b square should be equal to 1 over 4. Is that clear to you? Should be equal to 1 over 4. So that is 4, right? So that is uh, 4 and this is uh, 1. So you get 5b square equals to 1 over 4. And that gives you that b is equal to 1 over 4 times 5, which is 20. Okay, so let me write... Let me write 4 times 5. It makes sense because I'm going to square root. And we know square root of 4 is 2. So, so I'll write this as half 1 over square root of 5. Does make sense. So we get the value of b, which is that much. Correct? So I don't want to move to the next page. So I'm kind of squeezing it in. So from here, we know what a is. a is minus twice b, right? So it should be minus twice this will be 1 over square root 5. Is that okay? This 2 and that 2 cancels. So we get the value of A. Perfect. So finally, finally, we have all the values. We have A as equals to minus 1 over square root 5. We have B as equal to 1 over 2, 1 over square root 5. And we have C as uh, equal to Square root 3 over 2. Okay, square root 3 over 2. All of them have, uh, we could take, we could write that as our answer, right? So, we know ABC, and so that is our equation to begin with. And so we say our plane is what? So we'll just write this, right? So we have minus 1 over square root 5x plus 1 over 2 times 1 over square root 5y plus square root 3 over 2 z equals to 0. Perfect. Well, you could also do one thing. You could just multiply by 2, all of them. And you could also write this as, if I multiply, this is equal in 2. Now, so it, it is equal to minus 2 over square root 5 x plus 1 over square root 5 y plus square root 3 z equals to 0. Does make sense to you? So that becomes our answer. So I hope that makes sense. So let's go through our solution, understand what we did. The question gave us that this, that our plane is perpendicular to the given plane, so that normal of the given plane will become the direction in our plane. So that was the first thing. It contains origin, that means the value of d is zero, and normal makes an angle of 30 degrees with z axis. That means c value is cos of 30 degrees, and that's your value. Now be careful that when you do this step, the magnitude of your normal should be one. So we are considering not just a normal normal, we are actually considering this to be a unit vector along the normal, right? So normally when I write unit vector, I'll put that symbol. Now that helps us to solve the condition. So means we got one equation as a square plus b square plus c square equals to 1. 
we know the value of c square root 3 over 2 and then we could do dot product of normal and this to get the third equation solving them we get our answer you could even multiply by square root 5 right and then uh, rationalize kind of and get your answer without square root in the denominator right so that is all possible but I hope you understand this solution go through this this is one of the most important and it is a challenge question uh, if it comes in your test thanks for watching and all the best